the perilous pursuit of popular, social gratification. Where does your business or personal brand stand in today's online popularity contest? Have you bought into the metrically challenged social stratosphere and find yourself hopelessly manipulated by pursuing meaningless popularity objectives, such as likes, retweets, impressions, and views? What's the goal here? What's the end game? How does it translate into value? Who then is the benefactor? Today, everyone is a marketer and we all create media. And marketers love to feel exalted, feasting on data and analytics to fuel their dopamine-induced binge on self-serving felicities. Yes, I'm piling on some fancy mumbo-jumbo lingo to agitate the silliness of it all. Silly, it is. But it's actually much more serious in real life. Beyond the in-group, out-group perils of popularity, which warrant another serious dis discussion, the endless pursuit of social gratification has managed to do something unthinkable. It has destroyed authenticity, the foundational pillar of trust, the most important factor in creating value. How bad is it? The media environment is now a sea of gloated personas, woefully trying to win the attention of really anyone who will give it to them. It's made real people unreal. Imagine that. It's acting in mass for a global stage. You get to play any character you want, but yourself. Why choose to be the authentic, vulnerable, real self when you can instantly portray an alternative and better version of yourself? The result is that we now live in an online world of social actors, much like many of the marketing experts out there being paid to pump popularity. These marketing buzzers peddle bad advice in their attempt to get you addicted to the metric dopamine reward cycle. It's bad advice and almost every marketer gives it. Sadly, as a marketer myself, I'm having to teach people how to discover their authenticity. Let me repeat that. I'm having to teach people how to discover their authenticity, which is truly tragic to say the least. My two cents, before you chase popularity and find solace in the mainstream, Give yourself permission to be you and lean into it 100%. You don't need to be popular to win friends and influence people. To inject some purpose, reverse engineer the entire process. Start outward versus inward. Focus instead on understanding your ideal customers, their problems, constraints, limitations, obstacles, fears, hopes, and desires. Ask questions, then ask more questions, then ask better questions. Before too long, you'll be feeling good about yourself for all the right reasons in leading a purpose-driven marketing life. Misleading indicators. When you chase algorithmic attention, social popularity, and mainstream acceptance, you are essentially choosing to compromise yourself. And compromise is the seed of conformity. Conformity will put you on the fast track to being a commodity. What's going on here? Think hard about consequences here. Your biggest, single biggest, most important differentiating factor you have will end up being masked, hidden, or muted. When you fail to go all in on you, you compromise. Don't do it. And Rand once said, in any compromise between food and poison, it is only death that can win. In any compromise between good and evil, it is only evil that can profit. In the end, the pursuit of popularity will only serve to marginalize your reason why and hurt your soul. Do you really want this? Look at the world around you. The artists, musicians, business icons, the ones who became legends never set out to be popular. They were convicted to a personal mission of going all in on their uniqueness and craft, embracing the unfamiliar and not trying to please everyone. They discovered that that is equally important to repel those who don't align with your mission as it is to attract the ones that do. Give yourself permission to be that beautifully different and original person that you are. The originals have changed the world and continue to make it a better place. And it doesn't cost a thing, but its value is truly priceless. To your greatness, Warren Dow, M3 Media.